Good morning, good morning. It's Saturday morning once again here on Your Breakfast Lifestyle, and we're back in the freezer section here at Studio 46 to see what's going on with the freezy freezies. What's going on? I'm Heo Will Mahoney here with Brandon. Rise and shine, everyone. Rise and shine. It's breakfast time here on Your Breakfast Lifestyle, and today we're going down on the farm again, boy. Oh, man, I didn't know Bob Evans was a bootlegger. Oh, Bob Evans is doing all kinds of shady stuff, because here we got him, double whammy, one and two. Brand new English muffin by a certain uh, other joint that we uh, know that does English muffin type sandwiches. And we got green, we got red, we got, let's see here, sausage, egg, and cheese. We got Canadian bacon, egg, and cheese. Uh oh. Double whammy. Uh oh. I think uh, Ronald might want to watch out because Bob Evans can pull some pretty strong breakfast items. I know, yeah. Right? Bob Evans is usually pretty damn solid on stuff. And these are, they're not gigantic. You know, kind of like fit in the palm of your hand there. Uh, they were running for two for three dollars at the Giant All right. when I found them. And they're, you know, proclaiming they are new. And other than that, it says heat them for a minute and a half. You know. That's not very long at all. No, easy peasy. It says it's already thawed out. Only got to do it for 45 to 60 seconds. Lemon so, easy. Yeah, there you go. So, this could be a very easy, easy, greasy, uh, Grab and go breakfast lifestyle here. I think so. I don't know. We're about to see. I'm gonna throw them in the microwave. See what's up. We'll be back right after this. We'll see you down at the farm, baby. In two and two. All right. A minute and a half later, or a little bit of change extra on top of that, and here we are, fresh out of the microwave. Nothing terribly exciting, you know, here to to look at. Just kind of your standard, you know, English muffin breakfast sandwich kind of yeah. action, you know? I mean, you can't do them in the toaster oven. We got one that's saw Canadian bacon and one that's sausage. And uh, I they don't smell anything though. Like no. really, literally, I have no aromatic uh, action going on here. No, none of that at all. I mean, you got the melted cheese going on. They're warm to the touch. They're, they're you know, they're soft. They're not rock hard or nothing. But yeah, no aromatics yeah, at yeah. all. For either one, you feel with bacon and sausage involved, we'd be getting something. No. I'm not getting a darn thing. It's extremely muted. Yeah. Maybe a little cheese. Maybe. Maybe. That, maybe that's your feet, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's ours. Hard maybe. to say which it is. Either way though, just kind of, eh. You know, I mean, just, they're not horrible looking, no. but they're nothing, you know, nothing to get you excited about your day the breakfast lifestyle way. Uh, we're going to cut these bad boys open, take a look inside here. Let's see, if I go down the center, cuts easy. Give it that. That could have been a lot more difficult. Let's see here. So here we have, that's the bacon one. Yeah, which is very thin. Very thin up in there. Very unremarkable looking. And then we got Mr. Sausage over here, which will have a little bit more heft to it. How are you, Mr. Sausage? Mr. Sausage. Oh, there's Mr. Sausage up in there. That looks a lot more enticing. And it actually has kind of released a little bit of aromatics there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But there we go. Get them side by side. You got bacon. You got sausage. We're going to dig in right after this, folks. We'll be right back on The Breakfast Lifestyle. All right, here we go. Bob Evans down on the farm. Breakfast sandwich action. We're each going to take a taste of them. So I think we're going to start with Mr. Sausage and then move up north to Canadian bacon, baby. Hello, Mr. Sausage. There you go. Let's see what's going on here. Mm. Mm. Got to get through that rubbery outer layer. Mm -hmm. But once you do, Mr. Sausage has some flavor in there. Mm -hmm. You got to get through that rubber, though. <laughs> Mm. And once you get it in there, it gets a little looser. Yeah. But there's that initial rubbery English muffin action. Particularly around the outside ring, it's starting to mm -hmm. rubberize quite a bit. Not yeah. quite as bad as those, uh, what's it called? The yellow, the, I mean the red uh, diet ones, is that Atkins or something I think? Or smart, mm. one, smart ones. Smart ones, okay. Yeah, I had one of those one time and the thing becomes a rock. Okay. No matter what you do with it. But yeah, this is actually mostly soft except for the outer ring. Yeah, the outer ring definitely has, you got it hair through that. Once mm -hmm. you get through that, it's okay. The egg is, you know, your standard, you know, breakfast sandwich frozen style egg. The cheese is there. It's not adding a ton, but it's not horrible. The star of the show is the sausage, oh, for yeah. sure. If, if, if there's anything that Bob Evans can do right, it's sausage. Yeah. They definitely have done that. The egg is not super flavorful, but it's there. Mm -hmm. Gives you a decent texture. Then you got the creamy, creamy uh, cheese on there, nice and melty. Yeah. Like yeah, the rest of it's doing pretty good in the sun. We give a little bit of Cholula in the action before we move to Canadian bacon. There you go, sir. All 
Right. Gotta add a little something, something. Mm, of course, I don't think there's ever been a time that we've added Miss Cholula to the mix and been like, oh no, that was a bad idea. Mm. It does somewhat mask that sausage flavor, that like savory sage kind of taste, mm -hmm. but it helps the egg and the rest of everything oh so much. Yeah, it definitely brings out some of the flavors there and enhances them, man. Gives it that little bit of tingle and spice that you need. Miss Cholula, our third cast member here on Breakfast Lifestyle, always helps out. Yes, indeed. I figure, hell, let's go on to the bacon, then we'll come back and just do the do the rating and yeah. mass. Now, mm -hmm. Canadian bacon here, so we're not talking crispy, you know, like a little slice of ham action up in there. All right, let's see. This one doesn't seem so rubbery on the outside no. for me. Mm -mm. Now, I cooked them the same, mm -hmm. so, hmm, interesting. Ooh, the bacon, the bacon, there's some flavor there. There is, it's surprising with that thin, thin piece of like, yeah. ham and bacon. It's got a nice, uh, you know, bacon flavor rather than ham, which yeah. sometimes Canadian bacon can taste just like ham, but it's yeah. got a bacon -y flavor. It's yeah. Like, it's kind of throwing me off that so little of it goes so far. Mm -hmm. I guess there's some some method to the Bob Evans madness here because mm -hmm. that is pretty pretty flavorful. Of the two, though, oh. I'd have to say the sausage is the winner. Definitely, it's, yeah. it's definitely got more flavor, and I I would say that Miss Chalula needed a little bit more on this one than it was on the other. Let's see here and give a little taste there. Make sure on this equation, and also the, the sausage, you get the impression that you're getting a little bit more hearty of a, mm -hmm. you know, sandwich reader. Money. This is such a thin slice. Mm. I'm guessing that, although minuscule, there probably is a little bit of different difference in calories and fat in terms of the Canadian bacon. It's probably a little bit better for you than right. the sausage, but you know, who's counting? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're eating, you're eating a frozen breakfast sandwich. You can't be too darn picky, nope. you know? Um, overall, okay, sausage is the winner. Neither one's blowing my socks off or anything. No. I would definitely take a McDonald's one over either of these. Yeah. And, and a pinch, it'll do. So overall, I'm going to go, can't go that strong on them. Two-thirds on the sausage, a half on the bacon is what All I'm right. thinking. Okay, two-thirds on the sausage, yeah. half on the bacon. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, the sausage is definitely better, and I would like it to be a little bit more toasty. Is okay. that's what I would say about it. That's true too. Beyond that, I like it a lot, so I'm giving that three quarters. Mm -hmm. The bacon one, I am giving the two thirds. Okay. So yeah, three quarters on the on the sausage, two thirds on the Canadian bacon. All right, there we go. The gentleman, Rick Edwards, being a little bit more generous than me today, but that's why he's the founder of the Snack Society, baby. Either way, weigh in down below on the comments right here on YouTube. Tell us what you think about Bob Evans down on the farm getting in the breakfast sandwich game. You can do it here, or you can do it on the Facebook group where the whole party got started. That's right. Join it with hundreds of the coolest people in the world that are in our group. You can do that by clicking on the link down below. Also, we are all about the social medias including the Instagrams and the Twitters. And we are at, at Brandon Rick SAS, at the host over here, like here at Hugo <laughs> Mahoney, I can't speak today, and at the director out of Rick in the SAS. Yes, indeed, you hadn't had your coffee yet there this morning on the Breakfast Lifestyle, but when you do that, you'll know you'll be ready to go to use hashtag Breakfast Lifestyle all day to let folks know what you're enjoying for breakfast and what's getting you through your breakfast of champions. And no matter what time of day it is, day or night, always use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day for all your snacking needs. When you do, you join that four horsemen to YouTube, baby. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, rise and shine. See you next time, baby, Saturday mornings. Bye-bye. See ya.